Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us discuss how to name a flux in in easy way. What is the structure of a flux in? So this is the structure of a flux in, and chemically it is a fluoroquinolone. But if you observe, it is a modified fluoroquinolone. So the quinoline ring is going to be attached by another ring such that it is going to form a tricyclic compound. And when we try to write the IUPAC name of this ofloxin, it is not an easy task because now this ring is not a simple quinoline, it is a modified quinoline and we have to follow certain rules in order to write the IUPAC name of ofloxin. So today in this video, let us see how easily we can write this name by just following few of the IUPAC rules. So in order to write the IUPAC name of this ofloxin, first of all, let us take the basic ring of uh, this ofloxin. So this is the basic ring of the ofloxin without any attachments. So here you can observe the three cycles, so it's a tricyclo compound. But as the drug is coming from the fluoroquinolones, we can consider one of the ring system as like this. So this is the quinoline ring system. Now this quinoline ring system is going to be fused with the ender ring system and this is the oxygen and nitrogen containing ring system that is the oxygen and this can also be called as morpholine when it is saturated and this oxygen ring system is going to be fused with the quinoline such that it is going to form the, the basic structure of the ofloxin. So that's why this basic ring can be considered as uh, oxygenoquinoline it is a fused ring system between the oxygen and quinoline so it's a oxygenoquinoline even we can consider this ring as an oxygenoquinoline but this is not uh, the correct name according to the IUPAC so we cannot use this term while we are writing the IUPAC name of this ofloxin ofloxin can be considered as a bridged tricyclo compound so now let us see how we can write the correct IUPAC name of this ofloxin so this is the basic structure of the ofloxin now we are considering this ring system as a tricyclo ring system you can see that here three cycles are there which are connected by few of the bonds which are shown by the yellow color as well as the red color so here the rings are going to be bridged by two types of bonds yellow and red color so let us give the name for this compound by taking each bridge and then expanding the name so initially we are going to consider the bridge which is shown by the yellow color so now let us write the structure like this so here we are going to mainly focus on the bridge which is shown by the yellow color so now this compound is a bicyclo compound how can we write the name for this bicyclo compound for bicycling ring systems we have to start the numbering from the bridge heads so this is the one bridge head and the other terminal of the yellow bond is the another bridge head but here the nitrogen should be given more preference so we have to start the numbering from this bridge head so this is one two three four we have to give the least number to the heteroatoms so we have followed this direction such that oxygen is getting the fourth number then this is five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve initially we have to complete the numbering to the two ring systems then we have to give the number to the bridged atom so this is the bridged atom which is uh, present between the two rings now this is the 13 so this is the numbering in this bicyclic ring system so how can we represent this bicyclic ring system so here you can observe this is a bicyclic ring system one of the ring is made up of 1 to 9 along with the 13 carbon and second ring is a six member ring system made up of 1 9 10 11 12 13 now this is a bicyclic ring system and when we give the numbering to this bicyclic ring system, we have to consider the atoms which are not included in the bridge. So here on the left side, you can observe that the atoms from 2 to 8 are not included in the bridge. So here totally we have 7 atoms are present. Similarly, on the right side, we can observe 10, 11, 12. So 10 to 12 atoms are not included in the bridge. So here we have 3 atoms. So now this ring is made up of seven atoms on the left side and three atoms on the right side. And within the bridge, how many atoms are there excluding the bridge heads? So here the one and nine are the bridge heads. So excluding the one and nine, only 13 will be in the bridge. So here this ring can be represented as seven, which are present on the left side, three, which are present on the right side and one, which is present within the bridge. 
so 7.3.1 that is the notation of this bicyclorings so this bicyclorings system is 7.3.1 now let us expand this bicyclorings system to the tricyclorings system which is present in the ofloxacin now we have shown the bonds by the red color so this structure is the tricyclorings system and already we have seen the numbering like this so this is the another bridge but here in this bridge we cannot find any atom we can find only the bridge heads which are 5 and 13 so between the 5 and 13 there is no atom so now all we have represent this bicyclorings system as 7.3.1 which should be extended to the tricyclorings system now this bicyclorings system is connected to tricyclorings system by a new bridge between the 5th and 13th carbon but within the bridge there is no atom so we can indicate this as 0 0.0 because there is no atom within the bridge except the bridge heads so this is the extra bridge that is going to be formed but this extra bridge is going to be connected at which positions this bridge is formed between the fifth and 13th carbon so which is going to be indicated as a superscript 5 comma 30 so now this is the notation of this tricyclic ring system it is a 7.3.1.0 5 comma 13 that is a notation and this is a tricyclic ring system so we have to prefix with the tricyclo and this tricyclic ring system is having a nitrogen at the first position so we can write one as a so this is a one as a tricyclo 7.3.1.0513 so that is the notation of this ring system so now by using this notation of this tricyclic ring system let us write the complete name of the ofloxacin so this is the structure of the ofloxacin and already we have seen the numbering like this and here we can observe one of the principal function group that is a carboxylic acid which is attached at the 11th position and already we have seen the ring system is the one as a tricyclo 7.3.1.0513 but it is totally having the 13 atoms including the central atom so it can be indicated as a trideca 13 atoms are there but this tricyclo ring system is having the double bonds at the different positions we can see the double bonds at the fifth position sixth position 8th position and 11th position so now it can be written as 5 6 8 11 tetraene we can consider the double bond at any of the edge but we have to take the least numbers so a double bond is present at the 5 and 13th position so we have taken the least number 5 similarly it is present the 6 and 7th position so we have taken the least number 6 8 and 9 so we have taken the 8 and 11 and 12 we have taken the 11 so 5 6 8 11 tetraene is present and a carboxyl acid group is present at the 11th position so which we have to give the primary suffix 11 carboxylic acid so that is the root name of this uh, of floxine, 1 as a tricyclo 7.3.1.0 5 13 trideca 5 6 8 11 tetraene 11 carboxylic acid then the next step is very simple we have to just indicate the side chains and arrange in the alphabetical order so let us see the side chains seventh portion fluorine is present so seven fluoro and uh, by arranging in the alphabetical order second position methyl group is present so two methyl and sixth position piperazine ring is present which is having a methyl group at the fourth position so six dash four methyl piperazine one i this piperazine ring is attached by first position and it is having a methyl group at the fourth position so four methyl piperazine one i and uh, 10th position 10th position we can observe a ketone group which is going to be a indicated with the prefix oxo so 10 oxo but within this ring system we can observe another heteroatom at the fourth position that is the oxygen which can be indicated as an oxa so four oxa so these are the other substances present in the ring system 7 fluoro 2 methyl 6 dash 4 methyl piperazine 1 aisle 10 oxo 4 oxa so this entire name should be attached with the root name of this compound even oxygen is given more preference than the nitros in the heteroatoms but here we have to start the numbering from the bridge heads because it's a tricyclo compound so we have to start the numbering from the nitrosin in this way even the name of this ofloxacin looks very complex but if we carefully observe we can simply write this name of this ofloxacin ofloxacin can be considered as a tricyclo compounds with two bridges one bridge is between the first and ninth atoms and second bridge is between the fifth and thirteenth atoms so just by considering this we can easily write the 
name of this ofloxin so that's about the naming of ofloxin hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thank you for watching this video